In this episode of my Gato UI tutorial series, we're adjusting the default splash screen when you run your game and creating our own. These tutorials are part of a long series of user interface tutorials for Gato. And as always, you can grab the source files for this and all of my Gato tutorials on my Patreon. The easiest way to adjust your game's splash screen is by using the default splash screen settings in the engine. Go to Project Settings, General, Application, and Boot Splash to adjust the default background color, image, and other settings. The new image must be a PNG file and make sure you have Show Image enabled. You can also set the image to full size, whether it uses a filter to resize itself, pixel images would have this turned off, and the minimum display time. If you want more control, we need to create our own splash screen system. We'll start by creating a basic splash screen that fades in and out and then loads the next scene. First, we disable the default splash screen by turning off the show image option and setting the background color to black. Create a new control scene named splash screen manager. My example will contain a black background and the Gato logo. The scene node structure has a control node parent, a color rect for the background color set to anchor mode and full rect, a sensor container node set to anchor mode and full rect, and a texture rect node with our logo. Before creating our script, go to Project, Project Settings, General, Application, Run, and set our new splash screen manager scene as the main scene. This will load the scene first when we run our game. Create a new script at the root of the splash screen manager scene. This script will fade our splash screen, load the next scene, and give us variables to adjust the timing. First, add the following export variables. Load scene for the scene will change to, end time for the time before the fade in, the fade in time, how long the logo will pause, then fade out, and before we change the scene. Then a reference to our texture rect node that holds our logo. Create a new function, fade, where we'll immediately set the logo alpha modulation value to zero to make it transparent. Then create a tween with our tween interval for the end time, a tween to change the alpha to one, a pause interval, a tween to return the alpha to zero and the last out time interval. The await tween finished waits till the tween has completed. Then we run the change scene to packed function with our load scene. Finally, add the fade function to the ready function so it runs when we load the scene. When you run the play button, you should now see your splash screen fade in and out before swapping with the new scene that you set. In the next episode, we'll take this one step further and create an actual splash screen manager where we can add multiple logos and transitions. Thank you.